We all wondering what is the electricity and how does it work. It's all around us, powering technology like our cell phones, computers, lights, soldering irons and air conditioners. To understand the fundamentals of electricity, we need to begin by focusing on atoms. It is the basic building blocks and the smallest construction of life and matter. An atom is built with a combination of three distinct part particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. Each atom has a center nucleus, where the protons and neutrons are distantly packed together. Surrounding the nucleus are a group of orbiting electrons. Electricity defined as the flow of electric charge. Charge is a property of matter just like mass, volume, or density. It's measurable just as you can quantify how much mass something has, you can measure how much charge it has. The key concept with charge is that it can come in two types, positive or negative. In order to move charge, we need uh, charge carriers and that's where our knowledge of atomic particles, specifically electrons and protons, comes in handy. Electrons always carry a negative charge, while protons are always positively charged. Neutrons, true to their names, are neutral, they have no charge. Both electrons and protons carry the same amount of charge, just a different type. The difference in the type of charge will create something that called electrostatic force. Electrostatic force, also called Coulomb's law, is a force that operates between charges. It states that charges of the same type repel each other while charges of opposite types are attracted together. Opposite uh, attracts and likes repel. The amount of force acting on two charges depends on how far they are from each other. The closer two charges get, the greater the force either pushing together or pulling away becomes. Thanks to electrostatic force, electrons will push away other electrons and be attracted to protons. This force is part of the glue that holds atoms together, but it is also the tool we need to make electrons and charges flow. Like we have said, the electricity is the flow of negative charge. We know, we now have all the tools that uh, to make charges flow. Electrons in atoms can act as our charge carriers because every electron carries a negative charge. If we can free an electron from an atom and force it to move, we can create electricity. And we can get this free electron from a battery. This free electron will create a movement in electrons of the atoms of the wire. And this movement is the electricity. Now after we have created electricity, let's build circuit that does something useful. Generally, an electric circuit will transfer electric energy into some other form, light, heat, motion, etc. If we connect a light bulb to the battery with wires in between, we have a simple functional circuit. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.